This is take four. Okay, so we have had so many interruptions when filming our top 10 favorite Elf Park video. So our first interruption was my brother. Our, our second, second interruption was the computer because of her fault. She puts on a show and she pauses it and apparently it comes on and starts talking. It scared the crap out of me. I thought somebody was in our house. And then our third interruption was me. somebody just, you know, this lady over here. Like, she got confused. <laughs> um, on a product, like, she started saying, just, you know, pulled things out of her, like, head. I don't even know what she was talking about. So now we're on our fourth take. So let's see if we can do this. And we're actually going to start backwards. Um, so these are products that we both um, don't have like. Any similar. Yeah, we don't have them in common or anything. So, so like the first color. product is the e.l.f. Um, eyeliner. This is, like, the glitter eyeliner. And this one um, is in Stardust, I believe. Yeah. And um, I like it because it kind of has the, um, what is it called? It changes colors, whatever that is called. I don't know. <laughs> um, but Excuse basically, her, guys. I like using this um, for um, under down. eyes. No, not. Like in your lower lash line, like she has on today. Um. <laughs> Anyways, I really like this color. And, <laughs> and it's, it's only a dollar. So, moving along. <laughs> moving along. Okay. Mine is the Elf Press Powder. This is six dollars. It's from the studio line. It's in the shade porcelain, and this is what it looks like. It pretty much wet. hits pan on it. Yeah, I'm very pale, but I love this. Um, it's kind of hard for me to wear powder just because my skin is really, really, really dry. Um, really so with dry. this powder, it doesn't really make my skin look cakey or powdery or just not very attractive. Some powders can make me look very older than I already am, she, and that's not attractive. So this, I just she's just not admitting much, it. Um, <laughs> she does look unattractive. <laughs> no, pretty much. I just apply this to my T-zone area, and I'm good to go. I have it on today, and it she gives you really nice, it. flawless finish, and I love it. Definitely worth the six dollars. Okay, so my next product is a brush, and it's the Elf Powder Brush. It's a flat top brush. And I like to use this obviously for powder and also um, for foundation to kind of smooth everything out and to even everything out as well. And I definitely recommend it. I love the Studio Line um, brushes. brushes compared to like the other line brushes. They're really they're, soft. They're soft and they're like made really Better good quality. too. So yeah, this is only three dollars. I definitely definitely recommend it. It's great for foundation. I use it for foundation. I already said that. But I'm opinion. <laughs> Just excuse her, guys. Next product. <laughs> Next product. Elf Complete Coverage Concealer Kit. This is in the shade Light. <laughs> and it comes with four different shades of concealer. I really like it because um, all of the shades are a little bit different. And they're really they're creamy. They're not too dark. Yeah, they're not too dark, especially since I am really, really white. Pale. I'm very pale, as you guys can tell. Um, so, yeah, I like that it comes, like, light and then it goes, like, darker. You can mix and match them to create, like, the perfect color. I just like to use my fingers. They're creamy, not as creamy as, like, other concealers. Um, but they're great to hide blemishes and also like redness. I don't really use it for my under eye circles, but Why I love, love, that? love, <laughs> love this palette. And we're just gonna move on because we're not gonna, we're Why not gonna there start because there is house. boys in front of our house. Bicycling. Anyways, bike. next product. Oh, next product. Oh, and I definitely <laughs> I wanted to say this, but I got um, interrupted or sidetracked. Okay, I've tried the um, color corrector concealer and it really sucks. I definitely do not recommend it. There's like no pigmentation whatsoever. Like you can't pick up the this. product for those ones. These you can pick up it nicely. Okay, so moving along. That's all I had to say. <laughs> and this video may be all over the place because I'm with my sister and we're just a little weird. So, <laughs> so um, I have another brush and this is the e.l.f. stippling brush. Seriously, um, don't mind how dirty and disgusting it looks. I use this my like day. on a daily basis for my foundation because mm -hmm. She doesn't I clean her brushes, like guys. <laughs> she doesn't clean them. I only like using a stippling brush for my Just foundation because I like how it looks. Um, it looks more flawless, kind of like the airbrush um, finish. And this is like $3 compared to like other stippling brushes that could be like $15 and up. And the $3 one is made like really good quality. So I really like it and I definitely recommend it. So on that note. My next is the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. Um, this is what it looks like. It's four different colors. Four different colors. Um, you get like a nice, like Shimmer pretty much color. all like golden kind of like bronzy colors. They have a little bit of shimmer in it. You, you can, can be use a green it. goddess for the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can use the contour with because it's not like super glittery or like that shimmery. It's kind of like very subtle. And I also like to use this um, when I like <laughs> to create a nice golden <laughs> glow, or also as a highlight. 
Um, and it has a really big mirror in it, which comes in handy. And it has multi um, uses for it. You can use it as a highlight or a bronzer, or you can also use it for eyeshadow. So, really, really like this, and it's $3. She likes it. Okay, so my next one so is cool. this e.l.f. Glitter Gloss. Glitter Gloss. And this one is in Dazzling Diamond. And um, I have another one too. I believe it's in like Glam Guava. But these are only three dollars, and I really like it. Um, she really, really likes this it. one. Is kind of like that champagne kind of pinky color with huge chunks of glitter. Um, the only thing I don't <laughs> like about too this. Close to you. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about this is this one in particular. Uh, you could tell that there's like huge, humongous um, chunks of glitter like on your lips as you're like rubbing your lips together. Um, but other than Sounded. that. Um, I like how, other than that, I like it, so. And it's only like $3, so definitely, definitely recommend getting them. Okay, mine are the e.l.f. $1 lipsticks. <coughs> I have like a whole bunch of these, but these are two of my favorites. The first one is in Let Classy. Me them for you. Yeah, this is what Classy looks like. And the only thing I don't really care about these lipsticks, as you guys can tell from this one, is they are very fragile. They break so easily, okay, so definitely um, recommend to use like a lip brush. It's so much easier to apply, and you guys will not make your lipsticks look like this. this. It looks classy. really disgusting. Um, but this I like because it's kind of um, matches kind of like the a purpley color. Yeah, like a purple mauve color. It kind of matches my um, lips. Lips, my lip color naturally. And I like that they're not matte. They have like a little bit of that creamy, glossy kind of texture to it, which I love. Um, very moisturizing. Goes on so easy to your lips. And then the last one is in Flirtatious. And it's a really nice, bright, hot pink color. Um, so yeah, if you guys want a review on all of the $1 lipsticks that I have, definitely let me know in the comments down below. But um, I really, really like these a lot. They go on really smoothly, too, mm -hmm. as I was swatching them. Yeah. Really, so really nice. And they last up to a couple hours, too. My next project is the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen. These are amazing. They're only a dollar. Um, I believe they're from the student line because they have the black packaging. The regular one. Um, oh, it's from the regular yeah, one? Yeah, they're a dollar each. Then why are they, is it black? Know. Okay, anyways, it's from the regular <laughs> line. That, that's why it's a dollar. <laughs> and um, this one is in teal. Um, my sister actually got me into these because she, I believe, had the brown and the black one. And um, sh it's really easy to like, wing, wing out your... Um, liner with this because what <laughs> it's a kind of like um felt tip pin and it's really, it's really easy the tip. they have amazing color selection they have There's like teals the purples the browns side. neutral colors bright they colors, have a wide selection of mess. colors and they're only a dollar so like seriously i definitely recommend it um you can't get the wide variety of colors on at, at target. your target but you can get like the neutral colors at target so if you want um color selection i definitely recommend Find them online. So I really like it and they are smudge proof and waterproof and they're really easy to um, outline your eyes and apply basically. Okay, mine are the $1 <coughs> e.l.f. Hypershine lip glosses. I love, love, love these. Um, I have it in baby lips, which this baby is actually lips. the luscious liquid lipstick. And this is the Hypershine lip gloss in bubblegum. So they're really nice pink colors. This is like a baby pink and this is like a mauvey pink. Um, and they just have a brush applicator, so it's very easy to apply. Kind of like the, um, Stila. Yeah. Stila. And you just want to kind of twist it up to like seven, ten times when you first get it, which is kind of annoying, but they're a dollar. Um, they have great color selection to choose from, like they have pinks, neutrals, anything like that, even darker colors. And then the liquid lipsticks, the, um brush looks like that and they're both a dollar um, they're not sticky at all I would think when I first bought these that they were going to be really sticky and they weren't gonna last up to like at least a couple hours but they're not sticky and they last up to about maybe three or four hours so I love them and you can wear it by itself or pair them on top of lipsticks okay so now we're getting into the products that we have, have. Um, that are similar so they're the elf studio line blushes I love these i love them too they're great pigmentation um they have a wide um, variety of colors and they're only three dollars and you can hardly even get a blush that's three dollars they're usually yeah, like true. i don't know seven dollars and up mm -hmm. um so we just picked out two of our favorite colors um i guess i'll just do one and then she'll do and then we'll do vice versa so this one is in mellow mauve and it's a really pretty kind of brown neutral color it's like an everyday basis color it has it's for the most part it is matte but it has like kind of that tiny bit of shimmer yeah tiny bit of really silver tell. shimmer but i really like it it's actually what i'm wearing on today okay the first one i have is actually my first blush that i ever bought from elf and it's the and tickles pink it's a really nice matte baby pink color as you guys can tell i love it because i 
hit pan on it, but it's a really nice baby pink it color. It could be I worn for every love day. It. Yeah, so I think it will look great on every skin tone, and it's matte, so it has no shimmer in it whatsoever. So on that note, this one could not be um, worn on an everyday basis. No. This one is in Pink Passion, and it's a Barbie Bright. pink. It's super, super, super Trust hot me. pink. Um, I'll swatch it for you guys. This one is kind of different texture as the other ones. It's more of on a like powdery kind of note but there's what it looks like it's really 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 pretty i really like it um i don't like to wear this like by itself i just like to concentrate m uh, more so on m the apples on my cheek and kind of blend it upwards um so it kind of you know concentrates just right there but i really like it i definitely recommend it and it is matte if you if you are into like glitter ones i definitely recommend um pink fusion or is it what is it called fuchsia fusion fuchsia fusion um, that one's like kind of the same really color glittery. as this one, but it's a little bit more powdery super powdery glittery. Too. So yeah, but this one's my favorite. Okay, next is in Candle Coral, which is a really nice corally and that golden was color. Mine. Yeah, it was. I stole it from her. <laughs> um, and then it has gold shimmer in it. And these are the two swatches right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but this is uh, Candle Coral, and then next to it is Pickles Pink. And I love wearing both of them together, and I have it on today. Creates a really nice pinky um, coral color. Really like these a lot. Great color payoff. And they're all different, like, kind of, like, textures. Some are matte, some have a little bit of shimmer, and some even have a little bit of chunks of glitter. But I love them for $3. Candy Coral is kind of similar to um, their new color, Peachy Keen. But yeah. Peachy Keen is more mm -hmm. on, like, a, yeah, on the lighter kind of mm -hmm. side. More natural. So the next one is the Elf Shimmer Palette. Shimmer Palette. Ba -bam. Ba -bam. Um, we definitely love this ba -bam. palette. Ba -bam. I'm actually wearing it today. I'm, I'm Me too. Yeah, we're both wearing it. Um, it's very versatile. You could use it at for like eyeshadow base, for your um, highlighting your cheekbones, brow bone, um, brow bone, um, cupid bow, <laughs> <laughs> down the nose. <laughs> Anywhere basically. And it has like a white shimmery color, like um, a pale pink, a golden color, and then a hot pink color. They're absolutely Amazing. amazingly creamy. Like they're so creamy. They're very pigmented. Like you could just put your finger like that and, and get, get so, so much, much product. Because they're off super, from it. super, super creamy. And, and they, they swatch them. There's what they look like. And um, you'd be thinking, like, why would I um, highlight my cheekbones with a hot pink one? It's not as pigmented as you think. It's not like super pink in it. You know the color payoff is like that. She's gonna swatch them for you. So, so you both can of see. the swatches of them, they're, they're similar. very similar when you actually swatch them. Because when have you like just a tint of color, yeah, when you just look at them in the palette, they um, look different. But the pink is very like a light pink. Light. You won't really tell. They look similar when you apply them. Um, and I like to, to also skin. use this as like um, under my eyes to kind of highlight there too but yeah i really like them my two favorite is the um white one and the pale pink one that's the ones i get most use out of awesome. and it's only three dollars for this and i definitely definitely recommend it it's amazing. amazing next are the elf cream eyeliners these are really really nice they're three dollars each they have great colors choose them like black brown <coughs> <laughs> excuse me <laughs> I'm talking way too much. Purple, teal. <coughs> um, they have like a gold. Some one. have like shimmer in it. Some are matte. Yeah. Some are different consistency um, as well because I have um, probably most of them, and I've noticed that some of them are different. And they do have metallic ones as well. But the one that I want to show you guys matte. is just black. the black one. We Me both too. have black. And I've tried the Maybelline Eye Studio one, and oh that God. dried up so quickly. It did. These I've had for probably a couple months, and they're more creamy. Um, they don't dry up as quickly. They last the whole entire day. You can set it with a matte black eyeshadow to make it more intense and dark if you like that look a little bit more. Um, just You can wear you know just regular eyeliner. It's easy to wing if you just use an angled brush. They also um, come with these <coughs> little small angled brushes. And brush. that works well too. Yeah, I always use it when I apply but yeah. the cream eyeliners. I actually <coughs> wear this. Um, I'm wearing it today on my um, top lash line. And I winged it out. It's really easy. Um, and I really like it. I like the color payoff. It's super intense black. And, and it's in this little packaging, but you get a lot of product in here. Yeah. So, really it's, like these a lot. It <laughs> doesn't take that much room in your like cosmetic bag or anything like that. Next are the e.l.f. matte lip colors. <laughs> e.l.f. matte lip colors. <laughs> okay, so. These are $3. They're one of their newer products. Um, mm -hmm. They've probably been out for maybe a couple of months now or whatever. We both have it in natural, which is like a nice nudie pink color. And they remind us of like the crayons. Um, 
I don't really and he gets so it. much product in here. We can just keep going and going, but we don't want to like break it. And I swatched um, it for you guys. But yeah, there is what they're it looks like. It's really, kinda, really, really creamy. It's kind of the same color as the natural one. It's kind of the same color as um, our natural lip color. And it's kind of more on the brown undertone color. Um, she also has a, another one that she'll swatch for you guys. And it's in Heroes. It's more of kind of like a purple, purple plummy color. And these are amazing. Um, I like using these. If you don't like the matte look, she doesn't like the matte look as well. But I like it. But sometimes I just want a different like look, and I'll add like a glitter um, gloss. gloss or just something, something on. on top of it to kind of look more dimensional. Yeah, like but they're very moisturizing. When you apply them to your lips, they go on so easily. They feel so amazing. Just think to your of lips. it as like your like light outlining your yeah. um, lips. They're kind of like a lip liner. But they last up to a couple hours. Um, but yeah, I really like these a lot. And they have four different colors to choose from. They're amazing. Not a huge wide variety of colors, but they are amazing. I definitely recommend it. And why are kids like riding on bikes? <laughs> okay, <laughs> the last um, thing we have are the Elf Conditioning Lip Balms. They have <laughs> SPF 15. I have mine in Peaceful Pink, which and is a really nice baby pink color. Mine is in Mellow Melon, and it's a really pretty kind of corally color. And I definitely recommend them. They're super creamy. Um, it's another alternative to wearing like a lipstick or a gloss because um, these actually condition your lips and they protect your lips from getting burned or whatever especially during the summer mm -hmm. so so yeah. if you guys aren't like a lipstick or like lip gloss girl definitely recommend these because they have a little bit of gloss in them and make your lips feel really really moisturized absolutely amazing and i like to just wear these um just by, by itself. itself or just apply a lip gloss on top of it or just apply them to a lipstick on like or just the elf mm -hmm. matte lip colors and just put this on top and you're good, you're to, good go. to go so yeah that is pretty much our top 10 elf Video. I hope you guys enjoy this video and <coughs> let us know down below what your guys' favorite uh, elf products product. are. Any products you guys recommend for us. And sorry if this video is all over the place. Um, we're getting ready to go to a concert um, later on tonight, so that's why we kind of like look all done up and done stuff up. like that. Um, so yeah, we're kind of excited hyper pumped. We didn't have to go to work today, so. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Definitely go and check out our outfit days and face the days because um, we filmed all of this today. And, and don't forget to subscribe to me and her. Yeah, and I gotta go see what my cat's up to because I think he makes a noise. So we'll talk to you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye, guys.